Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I am Cole here at Kitchy Flower. So today I have a little bit of something different. Uh, so instead of doing a live sale here this Wednesday, uh, I'm actually going to be doing a... Da, 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 da. I'm going to be doing like a video sale. Uh, the first person I saw that kind of did something similar to this was actually the wonderful Catherine Young. Insert her here uh, and I'll leave her information in the bio. Go check her out. She is a fellow vintage YouTuber, uh, seller, and creative extraordinaire. So uh, basically what I will be doing in today's video, kind of like a live sale, uh, pretty much just not live. So I guess let me kind of give you a rundown on how this is going to go. So uh, I will, you know, show off an item uh, like this sun rubber guy, for instance, I will give you a price and then what you will do if you would like to claim said item, uh, you will just put in the comments, uh, probably say the item that you are interested in and then uh, the price or say me. Um, and then whoever, you know, claims it first is the winner. Uh, so then from that point, I will have you email me at my email down here below. Uh, I will also have that in my bio. It's just kitschyflower at gmail. Uh, basically in that email, I will just need your full name, shipping address, and, um, and yeah, and whatever, um, PayPal email, or maybe if you don't have a PayPal, that's totally fine. You can uh, check out as a guest. All you have to do is just click the email invoice I send out, and you can, like I said, just check out as a guest through there. So I guess without further ado, I guess we'll get into it. I have a lot of fun here. I have some different items. I even have one item uh, that was in one of my favorites, but decided, you know, you let things go here and there. It happens as collectors. So I thought, you know, why not give, since I did show it off on YouTube, uh, why not give her a chance to find a home here? So, so yeah, let's get into it, shall we? I thought I would do a little bundle deal uh, for the first little set. We have some Kittles, Kittle clones, really mostly Kittle clones. This one is actually made by Hasbro, and then these two are just other Japan knockoffs. This one actually has a little, um, little key hook, uh, so you could totally put him on a keychain or a necklace or what have you. Uh, I will say this one has a little bit of wear and tear to her feet, and this one, for some reason, likes to <laughs> lose her clothing. Uh, $18 for the set of three Kittles. Again, I absolutely love these. You could totally keep them how they are, put them in arrangements, craft with them. Really, really a great small-sized um, tiny doll to take with you and keep in your pocket. So, right. So next we are doing this wonderful uh, ceramic nun. We have quite a bunch of cer cute kitsch ceramics today. She is pretty phenomenal. I'm actually not sure of the maker on her. I tried to do some research and, you know, the reverse Google image search and could not figure out what she is. So she does measure four inches tall overall in really sweet shape. It looks like she might have a lit, like a little flea bite or so, maybe around the brim of her dress. Nothing too significant. Um, her paint and like rosiness on her cheeks are in great shape. Absolutely adorable. You can't not love a kitschy nun, especially playing an accordion. And she's really sweet because she has some gold detailing. So she's a little bit shimmery. So for the ceramic nun, I am asking 26. So 26 on the very kitschy little ceramic nun playing the accordion. Again, unsure of her brand, but nonetheless, she's cute. All right, so you already kind of saw this guy. This is the Sun Rubber 
lamb. Absolutely adorable. I do believe he's marked Sun Rubber Co. 1950, I think six. Really fantastic. Overall has some light wear and tear. Nothing too significant. A little bit on his ears right there and right there. Um, absolutely love his uh, very sweet blue and pink blushing. For him, I am asking 30 So $30 on the Sun Rubber Lamb. Really, really cute. And yes, his head does swivel, so you can kind of pose him accordingly. All right, so 30 on him. Uh, next off, I am doing a big eye print. Absolutely love this one. So she does not have a frame, which a lot of times you find these and they don't have a frame, but she's pretty sweet. Let me give her a quick measurement. So she measures right at 15 by six. So 15 by six overall in really sweet shape. A little bit of wear maybe on the corners, but nothing too major outside of that. And she's kind of dressed as like a uh, a court gesture or a harlequin, what have you. Really sweet. Again, love those big eyes. And this is like a um, kind of like a, a clone of Margaret Keene's work back in the day. Of course, once something got popular, everyone kind of copied along, but absolutely adorable. I don't think I gave you a price on this one. So I'm asking 14 for the big eyed print. So 14 for the big eye. All right, so next off, I do believe we are going to do this awesome world of Barbie case. This is from Barbie's mod era. So this is 1968. Has a little bit of wear on the uh, case. Again, a lot of times I find these and they are just completely busted. Um, they are missing the little drawer insert on the inside. They do still have part of it, but the little insert is missing. A little wear and tear on the inside as well, but nothing too, too major. Um, it is all still together. A uh, little bit of wear on those corners, but again, it's hard not to find them. I know most of my cases have, it's always on the corners or like the inner brim. But for this awesome case, uh, I tend to find this one a lot actually. So I'm asking 15 for the 1968 World of Barbie case featuring Barbie. And I do believe that is Stacy on the front. So Barbie and Stacy. So I'm gonna put them over here. All right, so for a next larger guy, uh, he is pretty fantastic, perfect for Easter, honestly. So I am doing the Bijou, as you can see, little Bijou Bugs Bunny. Uh, I am asking 42 for him. He does have a little bit of wear. Uh, he is quite the nice size. I do believe he measures 22 inches tall, still with his little tail. Of course, that bijou tag. Uh, I personally am a fan of this one. There's a similar one made by Mattel, but I don't know. It It's not as cute in my opinion. Again, I am asking $42 for him. All right. So next off, we are going to do these tiny little plastic gals or plastic faced gals, I should say. So very similar to the uh, rubber face style doll. These just have a celluloid faceplate. So we have two of them to claim today. One does still have her original little skirt. Uh, the other one does not, but both cute nonetheless. I think they measure right at, I'm going to say like 11 inches. So I am asking, I am asking uh, 17 for each. So you would write 17 for the little floral one or 17 for the orange. Both quite adorable. 
I love these gals. This one has a little uh, paint loss in her uh, blushing. And then this one has some slight, but nothing too major. Again, $17 each for these. All right, so next off, I do love a good toy and package. So this is made by Wonderland Toys. Uh, this is a still in package squeak toy. So he's a little elephant with, it looks like he's a little baby elephant with block and all. Pretty adorable. Here are the back and it is marked uh, 1956. So 1956, little squeak toy. So I am asking 32 for him. So 32 for the vintage vinyl squeak guy, still in package. And it looks like you could totally hang him on your wall. I think that was an option. Uh, hang it, hang on your wall or place it on your desk or dresser. Really cute. So I guess these were kind of meant to stay in the package. I love that. So again, 50s little vinyl squeaker asking 32 for him. All right. So uh, next we have, again, another plush. I love a good vintage plush, clearly. Uh, so this one is pretty fantastic. Kind of has a Scottish look to him. Uh, he has a little bit of wear discoloration to him. Oh, I think it is actually pretty fantastic. Um, he does have a little signature from Tom. Uh, December 25th, 1958. So he is a Christmas present, uh, from Tom in 1958. How fantastic is that? So he still has his little pipe, his felt tongue and hat. Absolutely love the plaid detailing on him, even on the inside of his ears, which are bendy, by the way. So you can totally kind of pose them as you wish. But I thought he was pretty fantastic. Again, still with that date on him. Uh, I am asking 22 for the vintage Scotty dog. I, I don't know if he actually is a Scotty dog, but he looks Scottish to me. So he measures right at 15 inches long. So he's a long boy. Uh, absolutely adorable. I guess he could also be like a dox, a dachshund, dachshund, however you pronounce it. Really cute nonetheless. All right, so let me refer. Ooh, okay, so next off, we are going to do a little bit of it. I feel like this is the emphasis of kitsch and kind of wacky, which is right up my alley. So we're gonna do a little ornament, which I actually got him more like towards Christmas time, but I think he kind of works anytime. If you have a musician in your life or just, you know, you like a good clown. So this is a vintage flocked little guitar with a pixie clown elf um, that is posable on it. I just think this is so wacky. It's in really good shape. The flocking on the guitar is really great. And just look at him. He's quite whimsical and it still has that little hanging hanging mechanism. So you could totally hang him on your wall or I don't know, maybe in your car. I think that'd be pretty cute. So for him, I am asking $16 for the flocked little guy. Absolutely precious. Um, I don't I don't think you're gonna see another one like him, honestly. So 16 for him. All right, so we're back at some more ceramics. We are going to do this sweet little ceramic ballerina. Absolutely adorable. I love her tulle little skirt. I've always been a big fan of like ceramics, either having the cute little tulle or like the fuzzy fur. Um, really, really just kitsch to me. So she measures right at three and a half inches with her little bouquet. She is quite precious. I hope, I hope the uh, her face detailing is showing up. But she is, of course, marked Japan on the bottom really fantastic. So again, asking $12 for her. So, so cute. 
Then I have one of my favorite kinds of things, uh, a celluloid little doll, uh, really cute. So he is marked, I do believe, made in occupied Japan on the back, really whimsical. He is kind of like a very soft baby pink, kind of nude color. Uh, and he measures right about four and a half inches, give or take. Um, he does have a little squish on his belly, but other than that, he's pretty fantastic in my opinion. Uh, whenever I find these old celluloid dolls, I just think they're like little miracles for still being around. So for him, I am asking 14 for the little celluloid doll with the little squished belly and all, but he's pretty fantastic. Look at his pink little bow. So again, asking 14 for him. And then I think one of the last items we have, we have this awesome mid-century, oops, I'm gonna try not to blind everyone, um, but also, hello, I guess you're going to kind of get a tour. Um, we have a mid-century foil container, absolutely adorable. So there is foil, um, wax paper, oops, wax paper, and of course, paper towel. See yourself as I record on my phone. Uh, that's really fun. Uh, so pretty fantastic. Has a little bit of wear on the back, but um, here are the inside. Ah. Oh, it looks like there's still foil in there. I'll take that out. But. Um, you can hang this on your wall. It does have the little two holes in the back of it. And this one actually measures, let me see. This one measures about 13 and a half by, I'd say 10 and a half. Um, and it's about five and a half um, wide across. So for this wonderful paper towel holder, I, oh, I hope the glare is not like too, too bad. I'm sorry about that. So for the awesome mid-century kitchen uh, holder, I am asking 24 for it. And asking 24 for the little foil holder. All right, so try not to blind you guys anymore. Sorry about that. All right, so uh, I do believe I have one or two more things to show. So let's do it. I have... One more little squeak guy. Uh, I'm not sure who the maker of this one is, but it is marked Japan. He has a little bit of wear around his ear, but his head swivels and I think he's pretty fantastic. Uh, this one measures right at four and three quarter inches tall. So for this little squeak, <laughs> I am asking $16. So 16 on the made in Japan little, little big eyed bunny guy. Uh, again, I haven't ever seen this one before. So you'll have to let me know if you guys, um, if any of you know who the maker of him is, because he is pretty fantastic. I wouldn't mind finding some more of him. So 16 on the little bunny dude. And then I think we have, oh, I have one more and then the final. All right, so I have a little kitschy kitten, little Siamese kittens, uh, little ceramic figurines, absolutely adorable. Again, marked Japan. I just think they are the sweetest thing playing with each other. Tails are still intact. I don't see any major uh, damage. They do measure right at about three and a quarter by about four and a half inches. So I am asking $12 for the very kitschy cute kitten set. Really, really fun. Again, marked Japan. All right now. And then I think the grand finale is a once again, a piece of kitsch ceramic, but you guys have actually seen this one before. She is pretty fantastic, I will say. Uh, so this one is actually a Relpo little flower girl. 
as you can see on the bottom. I've actually had her in my own collection for a little bit of time now, but honestly, she doesn't match a lot of like the coloring and stuff I have. Um, so I think it's maybe time to uh, try to find a new home for her since it is very spring and obviously spring has sprung. So let's uh, try to find her a new home. She's pretty fantastic. I will note the only like major boo-boo I see on her is this chip right here. Um, not a huge deal, but it is... Uh, a little bit noticeable if you look at the back, but you really don't see it from the front, so who cares, honestly? Again, with that foil sticker, she is pretty fantastic measuring, what does she measure? Right at six and a half inches wide or long by about seven inches tall. So she is pretty fantastic. You don't find these gals all too often. So I am asking 58 for her. So 58 for the sweet little Relpo planter. So you guys, that has been my first ever not so live sale. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. First um, video sale, I don't know. Uh, Big shout out again to Katherine Young for giving me the idea. Uh, I've had a really fun time doing this. So I hope it goes over well. I hope you guys find this easy. Again, um, whoever is the first one to leave me a comment claiming an item. Uh, again, I will need you to email me right here at kitschyflower at gmail. I, I will need your full name, your YouTube name, your full address, and your email. Um or PayPal email. However, um, if you don't already have a PayPal account, again, all you'll need to do is click on the invoice I send you and check out as a guest. You don't have to sign in or anything. But beyond that, I think that's been about it. I have to get to editing this video because I need to have it up for tomorrow since it's Tuesday. I'm running a little bit behind. Uh, but do expect uh, there to be a new live sale next Wednesday here on YouTube. I am going to be doing them more consistently over here. Um, so I'm pretty excited. I just kind of wanted to dabble in doing uh, a different kind of little sale um, since everyone I know can't make it to the live sales I do. So I kind of wanted it to be a little bit more opened up for others who can't make it. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun filming this. I'm really excited to see um, some of this hopefully find some good homes. So thank you guys so much. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to. Uh, if you have a love for vintage or kitsch or um, just like to hear me ramble, I appreciate it. Uh, so I did just reach 2,000 subscribers. So I did want to say thank you each and every one of you for being here, hanging out with me. Um, I just, it means the world. I just really appreciate all of the uh, messages and comments I get here. I, I feel like it's its own little community here on YouTube and I'm very honored. So um, again, big shout out to everyone for being here. Uh, if you would like to find me on other social media platforms, of course, you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok. We are here on YouTube. And then, of course, my Etsy shop. Hop on over there if I'm not here. So um, I think that's about it. Of course, I do have a weekly Sunday whatnot sale. Uh, so if you aren't already on whatnot, be sure to. It is a newer live selling platform. I have a lot of fun with it. Um, there's been so much growth uh, on the app since I've joined and it's been really cool to watch. Um, but yeah, I do a live sale there every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern. So be sure to follow me on all of my links. Um, I'm again going to leave Catherine's YouTube channel down below. Um, and then all of my other links will be in the bio and what have you. So I hope, uh, I explained everything in this video pretty well and, yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day and happy spring, everyone. Bye.